Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Pan Chang Innocent. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a PayPal account that can pay and receive money here in Nigeria. So, if you are finding it difficult to create a PayPal that can receive and pay money, this video is for you. So, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. I also like the video if you found it useful to you so if you come to new tab like this on your phone or laptop you search PayPal dot com slash AE then you search it after searching it will come it will come up like this you scroll scroll down scroll down you come down here you click on get started after clicking on get started it will take you here after taking you here do you see the two options one is personal account two is business account then you put business account do not put personal account because they can't give you access to to receiving money from it so click on continue after clicking on continue the security challenge will come and then you take the bug take the bug for to, that you are not a robot after this then you will now select where the light is when they are but in your own case maybe they won't the light will not come out maybe something different so you now do it okay motorcycle okay okay let's verify it first ah this this okay aha uh -huh. okay now you wait a little bit for it a lot let's wait a little bit this is a network challenge okay it's loading okay after this you now put email address Now put your email address and you then click continue. Uh, okay, let me use another email address. This one is not going through. Then click continue. You now put password. I click continue. Now after coming here now, you click on your name, your legal name. You click on your legal name. Your legal name. After clicking, 
I put in your legal name, you put your business details, your business name. Even though you didn't have a business, just put any any name that you wish to be your business name, just put it. Let's put digital. Agencies. Okay. Then after that, you come to this business phone number. You change the country code to your country. As of me, I'm choosing nigeria which is my country then i'll now put phone number phone number then from there and you have put the phone number. Okay, sorry. Do not put the zero. Okay. The first zero. Do not put it. Okay. From business address, I'll now put the address. This additional information, you now put what is all about the business. You put what is all about the business let's say is it e-commerce or or any other thing so i put advertising agency so under this uh you see city you put your city and then under this city this emerald i see change it to Abu Dhabi and then this primary uh, uh, currency just leave it at dollar then click on the user agreement and policy statement and click agreed and continue it says something went wrong It says something went wrong. Let's try again. I changed this business name. Whether someone is using it. Let's see. Something went wrong. Something went wrong. Let's see again. What should I change? Maybe this name I have used it before. Maybe because of the name. Okay, let's try it this way again. let's click continue okay it's because of the name now they say describe your business here you can put it is it uh, individual sole proprietorship, uh, proprietorship or sole proprietorship Co corporation or partnership anyone you can put it let me just put partnership Product keyword at advertising service. Uh -huh. You can put any of the on any of the options that come out. Is it a, is it agricultural core operation or anyone telegraph service drugstore and anyone you see just put anyone that you wish. As of me, I put the advertising service. And then, okay, sorry, I I come back.
okay let's go back there again okay if you put your advertising service okay let me put the advertising service again back there okay anyone you can choose then you put a website it's optional if you don't have a website don't need to put anything there a country origin formation you can able to leave it from a uh, united arab emirate but you can able to change it to any other country but as of me now i want to put it in abu dhabi I can't find it. I'll just leave it there. Okay. After that, you now come to business registration number. This is a business registration number. is optional. You can... You, you don't have to put it compulsory. Just put the business established date. Just form any date and put it there. Put the year. Then click continue. Then they're asking you to tell us more about you. Then here, you put your date of birth. Let me put my own. Nationality, you put your country. But as of here, Okay, you put your country, put Nigeria or any country that you are. So the identity document, you select if you have ININ, you put it. If you has a passport, you put it. You have driving license, you put it. Anyone, let's say I put national ID card. Well, they are not going to accept my national ID card because the name that I started using it there to start this uh, tutorial is not my name because they didn't accept my name because my name, I have used my name to open another one already. So, if you submit this thing, you, you put all this thing immediately and you put, you click on submit, the account will just open, it will just be created. So, this is how, I can't able to finish it because I didn't have any, uh, any identity document that I can use that that is another name to use. So thank you for watching the video. I can really take you to the one that I've created with my name. You can see it. You can send and withdraw money. So this is how it go about it. Thank you for watching. Let me say uh, take you to my PayPal. You can see. Let me open it. Let you see. You can see this is the PayPal account. This one can send and receive money. But the only thing is that it has limit. They are, they are asking for password. They are asking for password. Which one should I use? Okay. This one I can use it for everything now. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.